because of the trash bins and everything, the, the education, the campaigns we have done, so that people know more about where to throw their, their, their waste. So I will explain you a little bit more about the classification we did. We put ourselves in the place of, uh, of these people are called minadores. They, they are in charge of getting out the garbage out of, out of the bags that we, we have in school and in every institution in, in, in Quito. And, and they are in charge of separating. So we did this to, to create awareness, to educate ourselves first uh, what was the real problem. So in a school, we, we also have got these this are the representation of the Detro pack uh, garbage bins we installed. We have also a plastic bottle uh, bins made out of plastic. They're really big with, with plastic bottles and also paper paper bins. So we try to, to, to create a different camp so it is easier to people to identify and give them uh, reviews. Yeah, the major thing our project has done is like, as you say, the minadores, they're the ones who get in the trash and take out everything they can so that they can sell it the plastic so that it could be recycled. We have like, instead of making them do that, we directly separate this so that the institution himself comes and take everything like already separated and, and classifies it and recycles it. They do the process of recycling. So, uh, any questions about the presentation so far? Okay, now we have like a little game. I don't know if you want to play. It's a Jeopardy. Okay, so before we start the Jeopardy, uh, we want to, to know you. Please, uh, if you can say your name, where you come from, a little an introduction. Okay. My name is Mateo, and I'm from the same school as the guys. We're so with Albert Einstein and Peter X17. And I think that's fun. Francesco, I'm from Italy, 16 is now. So, yeah, great. Calvin is logging that it says, using TetraPak is like a hack. You save the world and you create impact. So we think that this is like, kind of helps rhythm. So if you hear in a commercial, like, it's going to be like, you think it's the Something like that. And it's going to be like funky. So. But, but it's going to be like funky. Like, we, we don't know what it's going to be like. Like, so you have visual. Yeah. 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 And it's the same one. Sing it. 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 pretty cool that it has rhythm and it creates like people like to know it and to be like singing it or enjoy it so it's gonna attract the attention also it sounds good <laughs> and it's half of the message it's not just your words and Mia's gonna say what's important 
Can everyone want to see the logo? Do you want me to pass around? I see. Can everyone see? See from the logo? Is that as good as ours? Nice try, guys. <laughs> Don't be mean. A for effort. Shots fired. Yeah, better. Here's Nash. Toilet Sink, number one. Maybe not cover. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So why do you think you should win? Right? Why? You should win because you're the best at Shazam. You should win because we're from Ecuador. And we know why it's so important. We have social consciousness. And our slogan describes what the product is about and how good it is for the environment. as it creates impact. And it helps the world. Okay, so a round of applause for this. See the logo.